Warning, this video is intended for audience who are 13 or older. If you are not 13 or older, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. Alright, I, I think we all could agree that Boondurus is just a dog shit character in the show. He is actually so bad as a character. The fact that he doesn't respect people's personal space, right? And merely gaslight and shift the blame on stuff when it's clearly his fault is fucking crazy. I definitely hate Bundar is as a character. I feel like he look is at this point is adding nothing to the show. Right? Right? And and, and, and he's just there to be annoying. I guess he's a stupid mascot character, you know? Look, he got he got, look, he's Ash Ketchum and we all hate and we all hate Ash Ketchum. Right, but fuck ah man, this episode really reinforced how what a what a just a terrible character he he is, right? So he follows Taya's old ch- Drawings for trying to immediately pesters him about it. He says, hey, this is not relevant. Uh, don't bring word a professional work environment, right? I don't need to answer this. I don't know why you're asking me this shit. And then he breaks the computer or he damages the computer as Ty is doing work. But who knows how much that? Hey, for what Ty could have been handling the goddamn, uh, uh the, ah, fuck. Could have been, hunting, uh, goddamn, uh, backing up the system or doing system for Delta Airline. Right and and their travels, you know, right? May may or or someone would have gotten stuck, right, in, in Valley, North Carolina, on their way home from the Yu-Gi-Oh North American World Championship, you know, just being forced to stay there for like five hours before realizing, fuck, I'm extremely fucked. I have to go to I have to go to a Hertz, rent a car, and then drive four to five hours just to get home, you know, right? Ty could have been doing all that, you know, but then fucking Bundarans comes in here and being all fucking obnoxious and ruining this shit. <coughs> Fuck. Uh, hey, it's uh, Bakukage Sentai Bon Boonger, episode 41 of Flaming Delivery. Uh, this week's enemy is fire. We talk about the climate change, you know. The Japanese kids will finally learn what climate change is, you know. Right, but it's not. Uh, that, uh, that, that, that's not it. Uh, it's just, hey, uh, hey, it's uh, fucking our favorite Hussein crew. They're, man, they're just, man, they're just down on their luck, you know. But they find a fire signature. They assume that fire signature is, um, is red, it's good. Red, red is bad, you know, right? And we get this week's, um, his alien, um, this thing, this guy looks like a fucking dweeb. I love what a fucking dweeb this thing looks. They gave him, they took, like, the pins that use as the removers, right? And they made him his glasses, right? And so he's, like, this fucking flaming chicken. I didn't realize until I'm rewatching it right now, but he has, like, two baby, um, uh, he has, like, two baby, um, uh, little, little chicken, fire hydrant chicken on him, and, uh, it this reinforces that this a single parent working, you know, working hard to provide for their children and the uh, bomb booter in this episode are clearly the are clearly the villain for destroying uh, and murdering this single father, right, who's just doing his best to provide for his children, you know? Right? Yeah, um yeah, hey Joe is still I, I mean I can't even forget about this weird subplot with Joe and uh and uh fuck what's this girl's name? Shiraiba? Sa- uh Shiribe Saibo. Right, I actually keep forgetting about this stupid little um plot behind the scenes bullshit with Joe where he has to like um scheme and like figure out what the fuck the Bond Boongers are doing. Which I don't know. I don't know how this point boom. So they have literally they have literally told him what we're doing. Hey, we're trying to fucking enter the stupid grand race or or some dumb shit. I don't know how I don't know how much more you you want me to uh detail you about that. Hey, we're trying to enter the space race. You know, we're trying to get the space before Elon. You know, be before Bezos. You know. Right, uh, I don't know what more you want us to do, right, you know, right, are, are you gonna enter the space race before us, right, yeah, then Bundarus becomes a unlikable character during the scene, man, this, see, this is really a first one, a dog shit character he is, right, this character pretty much already doesn't do much within the show's narrative, right, after we find out, that was, that right? so, now, so now he's a terrible friend who pesters people, right, he's also just a bitch, right, he can't, he's not even a good racer, right, as Boom D points out, this guy, fuck, Blunderous just is just straight up an unlikable character within the show, and I just hate everything about this character, honestly, right, um, hey, Gemma guy gets a cool hat, he wears a hat, I think he, I don't think he's worn this hat, but now he's like a cool little detective guy, you know, they're going around investigating, uh, investigating the fires, like, man, what's going on with all this fire, man, Seems really suspicious. Is there a serial arsonist um going around, you know? Right? Yeah. Yeah, um yeah, then meanwhile uh boom uh uh, uh Homer uh, meets uh Bundaris on top of the on top of like the stupid little toy uh rooftop that they've been um 
that 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 that, that they always film in right dog hey man uh, hey Hey, hey, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Have you, uh, have you been snooping through people's personal, um, personal items and confronting them and harassing them about it? Right? Uh, are you, are you still doing that shit? Right? And then, uh, boy, I love this part when, um, the Hussein are dressed in, like, civilian clothing. Like, they're, like, fire people and they're going out. Right? Uh, this outfit is fucking great. I love how they just wear this stupid little, little outfit, right? You know, it's fucking amazing. I mean, they give Yaru Car a stupid little fire fire prevention, fire safety hat, or whatever, right? This old woman obviously does not realize she's talking to a to an alien, you know? She's like, ah, man, your heads are really weird, are really big shape, and whatever, but uh, thanks for the free fire hydrant, uh, you know, right? And now, uh, yeah, they discovered that the key word is what's causing all this, um, is what's causing all these fire hydrants to, to converse, is that you say a word adjacent to fire, right? And it's good enough, that's what trigger tr- triggers it, you know, right? I uh, triggers like the that's the that's the detonation code right at this point for 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 them is is uh is is is, is what is what's causing all this stuff to to go off, yeah. So they find all the all the what you call it all the fire hydrant that that they that they've been uh stealing, uh you know, right. That that that's been going on. So they grab they grab all that stuff, right. And so now, so so now, like, oh yeah, good. We 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 got all the stupid little um uh fire fire. All right, all right, good. But the day the day is safe for us, so we are perfectly fine now, right? I I hope I, ho- I hope I I hope the day is safe now, and 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 everything is is is, is solved. But it's kind of technically, is it right? Yeah, you know, right? Because meanwhile, while the Rangers are doing all this stuff, like they're going around collecting all these fire bundles, it's just being like, oh man. Man, I can't believe I got yelled at for harassing everyone, you know, and I'm just, now I'm stuck. I can't believe that while everyone is every week ris- risking their life to fight these aliens, right? I'm just back here in the base uh, making curry and using our our fundings to make stupid amount of curries, you know? And you know the best, hey, I bet Bundrus doesn't even recycle or reuse or even have, like, he just makes a new pot every day, which is outrageous. This guy is such a waste of, 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 of funding and asset. But yeah, um... They they gather enough gasoline, gasoline like oh yeah hey yeah, uh like yeah hey look we got we got all your stupid little fire hydrant that you've been um that 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 you've been um keeping and uh, boy I love how there's an, a all these abandoned boxes and barrels in this in the middle of this fucking area I don't even know where to fuck this this I think is like the first time I've seen this air this filming location it's really convenient there's all these boxes for all these monsters to fall around like and now they're just like imagine the person who lives. Right, who's living at this? Uh, area. like he just left out all these. Like, hey, like, yeah, I'm just leave a bunch of a uh, bunch of empty out uh, barrels, uh, oil drums, and boxes just conveniently like this. You know, it's it's really funny. You know, right? It's great. And then um, Bundra shows up with the new toy. It's a it's a it's a fire gun, right? Cause uh, cause Tyus Dream wants to become a fireman, and um, uh, I guess this is the evolution of their suit design. I mean, it makes legitimately no sense when it shows narrative from race car to fire. To firefight, right? Is that like the show Steve is like Q, uh, not Q, Go Go Five, where they are in fact rescue, rescue personnel, right? So it makes sense for this to be like an like thematical upgrade, but this is just fucking random as fuck. He just gets like this weird uh fire truck theme, uh for right? Like it makes no sense when they show that like, how this should be the narrative. I mean, the suit, I mean the suit looks f- fine enough. It's just a big chest piece. I like the the base suit. The base suit coloring looks pretty, honestly, really good, right? Right. Oh, oh because it's like a single unified color. Out, red, red and black uh, looks really good, but yeah, I think this suit would actually looks better without the chest. This suit actually just looks fucking large and obnoxious. Like I feel like they could have gotten away with this, right? They only did like a did like the shoulder pad thing, but I don't know. It's it's whatever, right? But yeah, he gets like this firefighter for it now. Like oh yes, now my childhood dream of of fire and then of being a firefighter. You know, I can shoot. I can shoot water everywhere with the zoom zoom blaster or whatever. I think I think this form is called Boon Red uh, one one nine because I believe that is the that that is the Japanese safety code for a uh, fire, right? Uh, I believe I, I don't know. Look, look, I do not cause fire in Japan to to know what I need to call in Japan for um for for for, for fire safety. But yeah. Yeah, uh, they, he shoots the shit, and he just, you know, hey, hey, water beats fire. So like, hey, this, uh, this, this fire hydrant uh, guy does not know about his Pokemon, Pokemon type matchup. So it's over for him. Yeah, and then, and then, oh yeah, hey, look, here's here's the monster, um, 
uh, Megazord form. I completely forgot about this thing. Honestly, I just hate this fucking form. It looks kind of really fucking bad. And then, um, and then it just turns out that the that the combination with Boom D is just so anticlimactic and so fucking non amazing. Like the only thing all it does is that they just attach the the jetpack, the big bow jetpack to the back of it, and that's the combination form with Boom D. Which kind of just why I was like, I was hoping for like an actual like there's still like no weird like actual combination, right? Like a good of uh, main Megazord and six Megazord combination, which kind of fucking sucks. But yeah, the day is safe. Uh, the, the, the gas, the fire truck, not fire, the fire you guys defeated. Then see like, oh, well, we did our best. Time to go home. Well, fuck, I don't know what else to do. Clock out, you know, or we gotta go home. Right, and then, um, then Bundarest realized the errors of his way and he apologized for this. And then, um, he did not realize that Tyus, and then, it just said that Tyus dream from when he was a fucking kid was 20 other dreams. Hey, it says, uh, don't ask a kid what he dreams because a kid is just gonna draw, like, 50 other fucking random things, uh, he has as a kid. Right then, I wonder if he's riding a tiger. Uh oh, what does that mean? Is this foreshadowing? Is this hinting at something coming up? You know, ooh, why? Is, ooh, what's the specific drawing of tiger riding a of riding a lion? Ooh, what does that mean? Hey, this week's lesson is hey, put a kid in a car seat until they're old enough, right? So that way they don't die. You know, makes sense. I, I respect that. You know, all right. Uh, yeah, that's this week's episode. I hate Bunderus as a character. He's legitimately the worst part of this fucking show. You know, I thought Joe was bad, right? I thought Ishiro was, was whatever, but man, yeah. yeah Bunders is just a fucking dog shit character, right, of, of a person, you know. All right, uh, this is, all right, that's this week's episode. Whatever, hey, um, hey, I fucking hate, I fucking hate, uh, I fucking hate, whatchamacallit, I fucking hate, uh, the traveling. This week was fucking horrible. Uh, my flight got canceled. I was forced to drive home from the airport. I fucking hate. I fucking hate everything. All right. All right. That's this week's episode. Kate, thanks. Bye.